हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑल नो अबाउट जेनेटिक कोड बट डेसीफरिंग ऑफ द जेनेटिक कोड इज़ वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट वी हैव टू नो हाउ द जेनेटिक कोड वॉज इन्वेंटेड सो लेट्स सी हाउ इट इज इन्वेंटेड फर्स्ट थिंग इज डेसीफरिंग द जेनेटिक कोड there are two question as we know that dna has four types of bases cytosine thymine guanine and adenine while in rna there are four complementary bases to that of dna at the position of c there is g while there is a t in the dna in the rna strand there is adenine if there is a guanine at the t dna then in the rna there is a cytosine and if there is a adenine in the dna then at the rna there is a uracil the four base language of dna is translated into language of 20 amino acids we can we we also know that so the first question arises but who serves as the messenger of protein synthesis dna or rna the most important features of the genetic code is that it is a triplet codon three consecutive nucleotides of a single strand of dna contain the information for coding of specific amino acid it is known as triplet codon now another question is that how and uh, who did prove that codon is triplet and which codon codes for which amino acid deciphering genetic code represent determination of which codon is for which amino acid okoa one scientist first initiated the experiments of deciphering genetic code and he isolated the enzyme polyribonucleotide phosphorylase from e coli which links nucleotide together to form polynucleotide chain discovery of this enzyme was key to deciphering the genetic code next nirenberg and mathi technique they actually gave the first experimental proof of messenger of protein synthesis they used artificial mrna made up of only uracil polynucleotide that is uuu poly u chain artificial mrna were introduced to the cell free system the cell free system is a cell component devoid of cell wall now the experiment is like that there are 20 different amino uh, there are 20 different test tubes and uh, in the each tube they put cell free extract of the e coli and then at each tube they put 20 different amino acids and then the poly u chain or poly u mrna and they observed that all test tubes are blank but in case of only phenylalanine there is something the simple experiment easily proved that mrna is providing the template for for messenger or acting as a messenger in protein synthesis so here in case of phenylalanine they they find something then one question arises if one nucleotide is equal to one amino acid they must got 20 amino acid but the answer is no if one if two nucleotide is equal to one amino acid then they must got six amino acid but no then if four nucleotide is equal to one amino acid the number of amino acid must be 3 but no 
the answer is no if 3 nucleotide is equal to 1 amino acid polypeptide should have 4 amino acid yes actually they got 4 amino acid so from this they can prove that or they uh, conclude that 3 nucleotide is equal to 1 amino acid that is unit 4 is triplet similarly poly c codon represented amino acid proline and poly a codons code for the enzyme lysine and uh, from this uh, experiment they actually uh, in this experiment they actually use the homopolymer of the um, four bases and they discover some of the amino acid sequence and they uh, assume that the genetic code is triplet after that Khorana, uh, Khorana technique comes and uh, Hargavind Khorana confirmed that the genetic code to be triplet codon using synthetic mRNA having alternating polynucleotides in a cell free system discovered the chain of alternating amino acid using alternating uracil and guanine triplets which showed the following results they actually he took the um, heteropolymer of guanine and uracil so the sequence is gu 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 so the codons are gu g u g u g u g u g u and so on and the uh, amino acid produced from this sequence or these codons are valine cysteine valine cysteine valine cysteine and so on similarly alternating the aca that is the adenosine and cytosine uh, bases the um, result is the production of threonine histine polypeptide chain next hargobind corona and associate also synthesized dna of known sequence of in in vitro condition and obviously the mrna sequence is also known to the, them and then these polypeptides are then subsequently degraded sorry and uh, the next step of the process is this uh, known mrna is used as uh, the used as a uh, template for uh, or the reading frame for the protein synthesis so after that they degrade the polypeptide chain and um, uh, polypeptide chain to know their amino acid sequence the nucleotide sequence is then compared with the amino acid sequence and this nucleotide sequence specifies codon for amino acid because they know the template dna sequence they know the template their rna sequence and after that uh, they used this mrna to synthesize the polypeptide chain so from this, this experiment, they discover the um, codons for each amino acid. This technique leads to determination of all of the amino acid. Crick's technique. Crick took the advantage of acridin dye, a mutagenic agent which actually causes addition or deletion of nucleotide from the RNA sequence. Actually, Crick took the beta cistron position of T4 fudge in R2 locus of 46 experiment. And the original reading frame is like that GAT, GAT, GAT. That codes for the enzyme aspartate. The, uh, after first deletion of adenine from the sequence, the, the reading frame mutated and uh, they find some different amino acid that is the valine then methionine again methionine after second deletion of adenine they find another sequence and a mutated sequence and after third deletion an interesting thing happened that is the comeback of the 
or restoration of the original frame so after three subsequent deletion of the um, adenine base the original reading frame came back therefore codons are triplet and here is a mathematical proof of the genetic deciphering genetic code if a genetic codon consisted of two consecutive bases then the number of codons would be 4 square is equal to 16 since the number of amino acid is 20 this is insufficient therefore there is minimum the, the minimum number of bases needed to code 20 amino acid acids is 4 to 4 cube that is 64 George Gamow in 1964 pointed out that the code would contain at least three consecutive bases. So that is a mathematical proof of the deciphering genetic code or the code is triplet. Okay, that's all for today. Now I think this video is also helpful for the student. Thank you.